Hey guys, Blizzard Peak here. Hope you're doing great today. Uh, today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, we are going to do some financing. Yeah, because why not? Yeah, it's definitely different for sure. Um, I got my device right here. So it's going to be kind of different, but you'll see it on the screen. It's going to be split. You'll see what I'm mirroring, so there's always that. <laughs> now I better put this into landscape mode so it fits the screen better. Start recording. Anyways, there's a lot of different types of things you can do to try to make money. That's what we're all trying to do, but especially save money. Saving money is a great thing. Now, if we go somewhere like here, we compound interest calculator. Let me just show you. Compounding interest. All right, here we go. Sweet. Let's say you make an initial investment of, let's say, a thousand bucks and then let's say on let's say on top of that uh, let's say you're able to do just a dollar a day so monthly contribution 30 bucks how old am I so what am I talking about I'm 23 years old well I'm almost 24 I'm 24 in two weeks so 24 years old, which means in 41 years, I'll be 65. Yeah. So 41 years to retirement age. Estimated interest rate. I think some of those best CDs can pay you around like 3%. Yeah, so let's say you're able to make 3% on one of those long-term things. And then we compound that annually. Let's calculate that. Show table. So yeah, here we go. As we could say, over 41 years. In when I'm 65, I'd have $31,678.69. Of that money, the amount that I put in was 15760 So pretty much, I made right around, or I would make right around 16000 off the interest, so... I get half of that money for free, just off the interest alone. You see, it really compounds. Let's say you're able to do more than 30 a month. Let's say you were able to donate five bucks a day. So let's say you're able to save 150 a month. Calculate that. You'll see in 41 years, you'd have $144,953. Of which only seventy four thousand was donated what was your original is how much you put in was seventy four thousand eight hundred I'm doing the math in my head, so that means for you got approximately seventy thousand one hundred and fifty three dollars and eighty three cents for free see so like just off the interest alone long term pretty much doubling your money so see if you start saving young you can definitely have a lot of money in the future especially if you find a even better rate let's say you're able to save let's see if you're working a good job you have a lot of money let's say you're able to save twice that 300 a month 
We'll calculate that. You'll be able to save $286,000, of which 148000 you put in. And that's at 3%. Let's say you're able to find a high rate, let's say like 5%, which would be really good if you ever found something that high. Oh yeah, now it really starts to differentiate. See, over a 41 year span at 5% interest, your deposit, you would contribute $148,000, but you would have 467000 by the time it would, after the 41 years is over, meaning you would have around $319,000 off of the interest by itself. Yeah. So yeah, you, you would make three times your money. And I mean, make three times your money? I mean, who wouldn't want to make three times their money, guys? Yeah, that's pretty much it, though. You see, if you really start saving now, the interest compounds, keeps compounding. Like, I mean, it's continuous, too, guys. See, it's continuous in this way. I'm going to flip the camera and, uno, dos, tres. See, it's continuous in this way. Let's say... You have 10 bucks and you're going to make 5% just because that's an easy number. So 10% of that's a dollar. So you then have 1050 and then you'd make 5% again the next year. But you'd make 5% on the 1050. So then your total would go up to 11, hang on. Dollars and two and a half cents. Then you make 5% on the $11 and two cents and so on. So yeah, it will just keep going up in the long term. You know, one year, two year, three years, etc. And it'll go steeper over time, where your initial deposit will be steady, but the interest will eventually outgrow. Which is why we saw, you know, they invested like 150 or whatever it was. But the total after that was like 440,000. I don't know, it was on the video. But yeah, I mean, if you start saving when you're young, you know, and even in your teenage years, your 20s, 30s, you just start saving at any age. But just the younger you start, the more it can compound and grow. And there's lots of other different investment things. Maybe if you guys like this video, I'll look into some of them and talk to you about them on here. All right, thanks for watching, and have a great day.